And there's no reason you cannot enjoy coffee and cheese together. I swear, some people would balk at the whole idea. James Chatto is here to straighten you out. You're a food and beverage expert. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Good, Matt. good. You, you even said to me that uh, through this process and working with Van Hoot and, and, and talking about cheese and coffee and so on, you've learned a lot about coffee yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially that it can work with cheese. I mean, it's not the most obvious marriage made in heaven. No, because people immediately, a lot of people go, what? I know, but I was sitting there one day, hunched over my early morning Van Hoot Sumatra and coffee, and I thought, why not? We put milk in coffee, we put cream in coffee. In Ethiopia, they put butter in coffee, yeah. and, and they invented coffee. They put butter in coffee in yeah. Ethiopia? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, putting cheese with coffee is just the next tiny step along the dairy highway. Right? Makes sense to me. So I went down to my favorite cheese shop, which is in Etobicoke, called the Cheese Boutique, and I asked my friend Ephraim Pristine, and, and he led me back into his cave, and he'd already started working on this idea. Oh, really? And he'd taken this. And this is... What's that? That is his fiendish experiment. That is a 10-year-old four-far cheddar from Ontario, most beautiful, rich cheese. Uh -huh. And he probed with his prober and dug these deep holes in it, and then he rubbed it with espresso, and then he sealed it up in a vacuum bag with five shots of espresso, and he left it... And left it. ...two months to see what would happen. For two months? Yeah. And uh, I've cut you off a little piece. Oh, I'd love you to try it and tell me what you think, because I think it's oh. extraordinary. So this is espresso. And what kind yeah. of cheese? A four-far cheddar from Ontario, mm -hmm. ten-year-old, so it's already quite nippy. And the coffee just smothers it and infiltrates it. Isn't that wild? That is beautiful. I know. I love that stuff. But, I mean, you, unless you've got a sous vide machine at home and two months to spare, you can't really do that. So no. I, we came up with another idea here, which you can do okay. immediately What's and this quickly. Now? This is a Spanish manchego cheese. All right. And we've drizzled it with a little bit of acacia honey. Mm -hmm. And then we've just sprinkled raw espresso over the top. Just espresso? Van yep. Hoot espresso? Van Hoot espresso superiori, right out of the bag. All right. And it, it kind of kicks in late, the coffee. First you have the cheese and mm. the honey, mm. and it's like the guitar and the piano playing, and then the bass comes in in the cheese, coffee. Cheese, honey, bam. Isn't that great? It's like a spice Oh, now. my God. And it's just raw espresso right out of the bag. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to start spooning it out of the bag into my mouth. Anyway, so th these are a couple of things that we thought would be great for a cheese board. Right. So then we started thinking about desserts. And uh, have you ever had the affogato in Italian restaurants where they take a ball of vanilla gelato and they just tip a hot espresso shot over it? Yes. We thought, why don't we try and do that with cheese instead of ice cream? That's a good idea. So we used a, a, a light mascarpone that you'd use for a tiramisu. Right, 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 right. Drizzled it with some caramel, dropped an espresso on top. Outrageous. It's become my default dessert. It's really, really delicious. It's hard to believe you could actually take coffee and do those things with it. You well, know? it's true. And then, you know, Banut has this amazing range. So I was thinking of ways of involving some of the lighter roasts, not just espresso. Right, okay. Uh, like they have a Costa Rican light roast, which is not bitter at all. It's just got a little honeyed note on it. Right. And that works perfectly when you ice it down, put it in a wine glass, and have it with a, with a very pale, fresh ricotta cheese, you know, like a cottage cheese kind really? of thing. Really? A very delicate little combination. Just on the side, you would have the cheese? And yeah, you could have it as, instead of a glass of wine with that cheese or something, or a, or a light beer that you might have with it, you just have a, a, an iced coffee. Right. And it really works. Or if you want to have more drama happening in your mouth, then the next time you have an espresso, just pop in a little bit of Parmesan first and chew them up together. It sounds, and you've done all this, eh? You've oh, tried yeah, it out. I do it all the time. <laughs> I get so wired, you wouldn't believe no. it. <laughs> so a piece of fresh Parmesan, just a little yeah. piece. Start to chew it and then have your espresso and your mouth just goes crazy. It's like this gustatory epiphany happening in there. It's amazing. Well, I mean, nowadays, the, you know, and I'm, I don't think it's a trend. I think it's a discovery when it comes to food and beverage is that combining things that maybe at first glance you wouldn't think of yeah. has become one of the cool things to try. Exactly. And then you find out that somebody's been doing it all along. Like in Sweden, they make a cup of coffee and they drop a few pieces of cheese in it, plop, plop, plop. Do they? And they leave it there for a couple of minutes. They talk amongst themselves. They spoon out the cheese. It hasn't melted. It's got soft. And this is a reindeer cheese from Finland called Leperjusto. I don't know what it does to the coffee, but apparently the cheese is enhanced no end by doing this. And they've been doing this for centuries. Is so that right? Nothing's really new, is it? Wonderful. Um, and you're going to continue to experiment with food and coffee then? You bet, yeah. Anything yeah. I can think of. Yeah. It's an infinite range of possibilities. And, and like you say, there, you discover this in, this thing you're just talking about is in Sweden, and, and then there's, you know, people in uh, dropping, Ethiopians dropping butter in their coffee and so on. Right. If you go around the world, you grab some ideas and apply it to here. Exactly. Who knows? That's the fun of it. The, uh, Bring the world of coffee to our I very mean, tables. 
yeah, the, the, it's endless, the, the things you can come up with. For sure. You're going to stick around uh, because, James, we're going to make some uh, coffee beverages. Is that right? That's right. Nice. Well, while you're uh, getting ready for that, I'll just uh, help you out getting rid of this uh, cheese. Espresso here on you.